Hello readers, you all have been thinking about how books want to be read and reading them that way. Some books want to be read in a sweet soft voice like once upon a time there is a beautiful princess and some books want to be roared like I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. But what I noticed is sometimes it's hard to focus on your reading voice because there's so many tough words on the page. So instead of reading that page with feeling, you start to read it like this. Once upon a time there was a, you start reading like a robot. So today I wanna to teach you that even when second graders find a lot of tough words on the page, they don't fall back and start reading them one at a time. They, there's always lots of snap words, words that you can see and read easily and right away. And we use those words to read in bigger scoops. So I am so glad that Mrs. Pugh taught us all about snap words. Remember, those are words that you can see instantly and know um, just like that. Another one of Mrs. Pugh's favorite words is automaticity. So snap words are words that you know automatically. So looking at this word, you know it's cat, instead of going k at. So if you saw this word and say, oh, that's cat, that's a snap word. So we're gonna use snap words today. So thank you, Miss Pew and Gus. So I'm gonna share my screen with you and we're gonna look at the book, Katie Wu has the flu. Alrighty. So with this story, we're gonna look at this in as big second graders, we are not gonna back down and get scared if there's lots of tough words, okay? Remember, we're trying to grow strong as readers this year. So what we're gonna do before we even read this page, let's do a quick scan. Watch me as I scan and see if I see any snap words, words that I know. Hmm, ooh, said, oh, I know, in my, hmm, that, said, a, Oh, I see lots of snap words that I recognize quickly. So now I'm gonna use those snap words to scoop them and read them into a bigger scoop and a bigger phrase instead of reading them one at a time. Let's see. Ugh, said Katie, I don't want bugs running around in my tummy. Not that kind of bug, said her mom, a flu bug. Good, said Katie, but I still feel bad. Readers, do you see how even though sometimes the words on the page might be a little intimidating and you might think, oh, I don't know these words, what you can always do to help you is look for those snap words. Look for words that you know automatically and then use those words to help you read in bigger scoops. And as you're scooping those words into bigger scoops, that'll help you read quicker and really much faster than like a robot, okay? Now I want you to give it a try. I'm gonna turn the page and let's look at frog and toad. Will you do a quick scan before you read the page? Just look through this page with a partner or turn someone near you and look and see what are some snap words that you recognize um, in these two pages. Go ahead and call them out. Let me hear what snap words that you see. Oh my goodness, look at all those snap words that you recognize before you even read the story. So since you have recognized all those snap words, make sure when you're reading, you scoop them into bigger scoops and you read them all together instead of reading them one at a time. Let's read together. Let's start right here. We're just gonna read a couple sentences and then we're gonna move on. But I want you to, whatever snap words that you recognize, make sure to read them and scoop them up in one big scoop. Let's start right here at don't, ready? Don't be silly, said Frog. What you see is a clear, warm light of April. And it means that we will begin a whole new year together, Toad. Let's stop there. Readers, I am so impressed with how you did not back down. You did not let those uh, words intimidate you. You looked and found those snap words and you scooped them into bigger scoops. So readers, as you go off today, remember we are growing like beanstalks this year. We're deciding how to read. We're taking those sneak peeks. We're setting goals for ourselves to read more and more. And today to help us read faster, 
we're gonna read in bigger scoops. Let's read that together. Read in bigger scoops. So don't let those words intimidate you. Find the snap words and scoop it into bigger scoops, okay? All right, readers, good luck today. Off you go.